Hello, I'm Clarence and welcome to the CV74 channel. Now a question that I get asked an awful lot is how do I speed up my Fire Stick or how do I get rid of buffering on my Fire Stick? So in today's video I am going to go through a few, few things you can change on your Fire Stick and check to make sure that you can give yourself the fighting, the best fighting chance to get rid of buffering. So the number one thing that you should be checking first is what speed did my box actually get? What speed does my fire stick actually get? All I hear is, well, I've got 70 megabits downloads, so I should be able to, shouldn't be having buffering. But does your device actually get 70 megabits or 50 megabits? So the way to check is you want to go into a browser like Firefox or Silk. Very simple. And these are readily available on the App Store. Then you want to put in this address. I've actually got a shortcut at the bottom here, but what you want to do is just put in fast.com. Just like that and press next. Now what will happen is it will automatically give you your speed what your device is getting. So let's see what I'm getting now. As I say, it goes over, it takes about 10, 15 seconds. Now I'm getting 100 megabits per second. I had I tested it before, I was getting 110. Sometimes it might be 60. It really depends on how good your Wi-Fi signal is. Now things that can interrupt your Wi-Fi signal is other Wi-Fi devices and other wireless devices. It's amazing how much a difference is opening up a door can make to your wireless, your Wi-Fi signal. I'm not suggesting you keep your doors open all the time, but what I'm saying is you can eliminate things like that, like positioning it away from a wall, especially if you've got an older house and you've got really thick walls, really, really bad for Wi-Fi. If that's what's happening to you, I do recommend getting an Ethernet connection. I'll put links in the description that you can buy for enable you to get an Ethernet connection to your Fire Stick. Okay, that's the number one reason why you may be suffering from buffering, is your internet speed. So if we go back to the home screen, there's a couple of things we can look at in your settings section. So if you go up to the very top of the screen and go to settings, and then you want to go along to applications, highlight it and click enter. Now here we've got applications, collect app usage data. Now mine's switched on, I've never had buffering problems, but if you want to turn that off, that will certainly help because what's happening is it's collecting information. By turning that off, your device is now working that little bit less. So it can work a bit harder to do your streams, you know, to get good streams. If that makes sense at all. So we come out of there, back up from there, then when I go along to Preferences, now all these tweaks are just to try and enable your Fire Stick or Fire TV to be, to be working less hard, <laughs> if that makes sense. So if we go into Preferences and click Enter, I want to go down to Data Monitoring and click Enter. Then you want to make sure your Data Monitoring is switched off. Again, it's just another function that may be using some processing power for your device and you don't need to have it on, so let's take it off. Then you want to go down to notification settings and click enter. Do not interrupt. You can turn that on. It's never a problem, but if you want to turn that on, try it. Why not? App notifications, again, click on that. Now as you notice, all mine are on because I've never had a problem with it, but if you want to turn these all off. Now by turning them off, it's just a simple thing that, again, it's just to stop your Fire Stick from working that little bit harder. But if you want to keep them on, it's a judgment call. So just back up out of that. Okay, now you want to go down to Featured Content and click on that. Now this is just Allow Video Autoplay is the little advertisement at the top of the screen. Turn that off. And you can also turn off the audio for it as well. Again, 
You don't really need to turn those off, but if you feel as if you want to, if you find them annoying, I don't necessarily think they'll have anything to do with interrupting your streaming process, but it's just an option for you to turn them off. Another thing that I will talk about is if you're running a VPN. Now, especially if you've got a Fire Stick, a VPN will take an awful lot of processing power. It's going to be making your Fire Stick work to an absolute maximum. So bear that in mind. It's something that you could possibly experiment with turning it off. I still recommend that you have your VPN on, but if you're not particularly worried or you're just trying to get a stream through, then certainly turning it off will certainly help it if you're running a Fire Stick. But I really don't recommend you not using a VPN. So that's it, that's all my tips for making your Fire Stick work as best that it can possibly work. And uh, But as I say, the number one tip is check your internet connection. What internet connection is your box or your Fire Stick actually getting? So, hope you like that. There are other tweaks obviously within apps and within Kodi that you can change, but that is just regarding a Fire Stick. So if you like this kind of video, please leave a like and uh, click the subscribe button and click that bell and that way you'll get notified of any, uh, for any future videos that I'll be putting out. And I hope you're all well. There's a couple of videos on screen now for you to try and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Subscribe!